miles. I wonder if there's anything in this world worth saving. Desolation. Tyranny. Enemy of endless might. Hey guys, welcome to the ninth Let's Play for Wolfenstein New Order. I'm having a lot of fun. We last left you with lots of sexy good times, evidently. Um, holy cow, I totally forgot the button, so it's been a few days for me even... Oh, only a knife, really? Um, so, yeah, let's check this out then. So, I'm enjoying the game a lot. I like the game, actually. Alright, what does that say? Serial killer on the loose. Murder duo suspect. Berlin, October 11, 1960. The Rasher murders, which has plagued the city for the last couple of months, may be the work of a degenerate murderer duo. Sources close to the investigation say, so far, five people have been killed. Each victim was found dismembered and scattered throughout the sewers. Witness reports speak of two strange men, most likely mentally and physically disabled, lurking around the crime scenes. They did not look like normal, decent Berlin folk to me, says one of the witnesses. Must have been, must have been them who did this awful thing. Okay. Ah, oh, nice to see racism's involved. Nope, can't pick that up. Oh, hey, more stuff to read. Ooh, Erdman's letter. Okay, let's look at... Oh, Erdman's letter. To Father Helmut Kaufman, the Berlin Church of the Third Reich. Um, Ayacuco, Peru. Dear Father Helmut, did you know that in the mythology, in the mythology of the indigenous people of Peru, the Quekon people, there's a figure called the Pishtaku, or the Butcher, they describe him as a white murderer dressed in a poncho and a wide brim hat carrying a sickle who extracts the fat from the bodies of the quenchens he kills. It may sound strange, but I think he speaks volumes of the relationship between the indigenous of this land and the Spanish conquerors who came here long ago. I've been thinking about the Pishtaku more and more recently with an accompanying anger brewing in my heart. A month ago, I lived close to family quenchens here in Ayacuco, trying to convert them to the Roman Catholic faith. I became friends with the youngest child of the family, a boy named Hastu, which apparently means Bird of the Andes. Hastu has been my guide in all things relating to the culture of the questions. It is quite fascinating, even though I weep for them that they may never come to paradise unless they convert to the true faith. Two weeks ago, I climbed the mountains of the Andes together with Hastu to visit the sacrificial grounds for the Aipas, the mountain gods. The view from up there was breathtaking. What little breath I had left after the steep climb. I was to be an observer during the ritual to the gods, which involved the sacrifice of a llama. I was to take notes and record their strange rituals and the paraphernalia thereof. Our soldiers came. I remember a Quakan shaman calmly walking up to the officer in charge. The officer leveled a gun at his head and shot him clean through. I shouted at them, What are you doing? And he said, Stay out of this, father. This is a sanctioned purge. They started killing indiscriminately, killing everything that walked or tried to crawl away to safety. I managed to get Hastu to run away before one of the soldiers knocked me out with the butt of his rifle. I woke up there with no questions left in Ayukaku. They were just gone. I searched for Hastu, but I couldn't find him. Either he was found and shot, or he managed to stay hidden up in the mountains. It pains me to see all these atrocities committed by my people. I'm reminded once again of the Pishtaku, the white murderers who came here and slaughtered these people for their own evil purposes. Can you speak to someone, Helmet? Someone who can put a stop to this nonsense? This barbaric nonsense. It cannot go on in the name of the Lord. I have packed my bag brought warm clothes and sturdy shoes. I've even gotten hold of a gun for protection. Tonight, I'll go into the mountains and search for my friend Hastu, and I hope to see a new dawn when I return. Wish me luck. Your devoted friend, Father Erdman Kruger. Oh, that's kind of cool. He's a nice guy, evidently. Nope, nothing I can use as a weapon. And I can't go out. Oh, can I? No, no. No, evidently this was just a place to stop by. All right, so we'll go up and over. Ooh, yeah, we'll crawl down. Why do I only have a knife? That seems silly. Okay, where are we looking at? What's going on? Ooh, obviously this is where I go. I totally forgot how to use weapons, guys. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to charge. Okay, now we're looking around. Oh, there we go. New objectives. Insert the battery. Okay, found a battery. Now let's see if this fits strange looking device on the workbench. Sneak into the prison transport. Anya is distracting the guards by the tra prison transport parked on the street below. That tall building is next to the secret police headquarters. If I get in there, I can find a way into the roof of the transport vehicle. Have to stay low and make sure they don't see me. Oh, I guess I need to do that. I totally like blew that off. 
Yeah, it's been a few days for me, guys. Sorry. Ooh. Well, hello. Laser cutter time. Oh, needs a recharge. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Can I? Ooh, let me go back down. Let me go back over here, guys. Oh, to cut fences? Hold R2 to cut. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, guys. That's awesome. Ooh, I got the gold plate. Oh, nice. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to sneak around. I'll be right back as it recharges. All right, guys. We're looking pretty good. I, I bet you there's nothing in here for me, though. Oh, more armor. Okay, well, that was worth it because we know how the Whisper acts. Oh, hey, there's stuff everywhere. Okay, guys, I'll be back after I spend a lot of time cutting this stuff out. All right, found another thing. Ooh, gold frame. I'm so awesome, guys. I'm doing pretty well. I'm pretty, feeling pretty good about this. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you can charge it up. Nice. Okay, so let's go to knife. Okay, we're going to go to knife because that's that'll work better for me. Okay, this has kind of been like a playing around thing. Not much has happened, I know, but... All right. We're going out the window, aren't we? Oh, I guess we have to go out the other window. Never mind. I'll be back. All right. Let's get out of here, guys. Okay, guys. That was stupid. Let's see. There we go. I knew I could do it. Ooh. Through the window. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Signal detected. I lucked out. I will so admit I lucked out. Ooh, hey. That looked like a baton to me, not like armor. Oh, yeah, okay. So I'm not feeling too unhappy about this. I'm obviously pretty badass. Okay, get the map. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm sorry, I'm... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was awkward, and I'll admit that. Can I answer it? I wanted to answer the phone, guys. No guns? That is kind of a disappointment. Can I break that? Nope. Okay, so... I'm just gonna kind of mess around here, clear out the level, because obviously... Oh, over health, I see. Ooh, hey, armor. Because I would like to try to get all this stuff off this level, because obviously I sometimes have bad luck getting those. Someone is smoking. That's bad for you. Let's keep moving, guys. Ooh, there we go. Oh! Was that your throat? I am so sorry. I am so sorry about that, dude. Not really. Is there stuff I can steal, though? Ooh, there's papers. Come on, there we go. Enigma code, that's right. Okay, oh, more stuff, more stuff. First German lands on the moon. Berlin, July 21st, 1951. At 3.56 yesterday afternoon, astronaut Hans Armstark became the first man to walk on the moon. First contact to the moon surface was made 30 minutes after Armstark and his co-pilot Emmerich Otto steered the lunar module to its landing spot in an area known as Glimmer Bowl. After the landing, two astronauts began their adventure on the moon by planting the beautiful flag of the Reich. They then started collecting soil and rock samples for further analysis back on Earth. Is this where the moon thing is fake now? Did they make the moon thing fake? Okay, there's nothing else in this room. I think it's time to move out. Okay. I'm coming along. I want to grab the German's gun, but it's not going to let me, is it? So I'll just sneak it around like this. 
Oh my god. Come on. Come on, we're waiting. Oh, no one's noticed me at least. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cutscene, because I'm awesome, guys. Okay, guys, I think we're at a good point. We're going to wrap up this ninth Let's Play for Wolfenstein New Order. I will see you guys next time. Until then, oh, wow, red. I'll have to go there. Take care.